just call her again just go outside and talk to her yes sri you can start the meeting yes good evening all uh, i jay shri choudhary the sergeant at arms for today welcomes you all to the 678 chapter meeting of toastmasters club of pune the mission of toastmaster club is to provide supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth now let me explain some basic rules of this meeting please put on noise making devices on silent mode mute yourself when you are not speaking or keep silence when you are not speaking please use the clap emojis when uh, speaker has done speaking or when transfer is shifted requesting all the role players to rename themselves as role underscore name i will give you an example saa underscore jayashree guest can rename themselves as guest underscore name leave it leave it keep your videos turned on if possible to encourage the speakers please follow the following protocol mr president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and guests we will now have a round introduction i request each guest to introduce themselves need yes. to tell their yes. name profession and in 15 seconds are there any guests dtm nagapan sir there are a few guests we have sharmishtha sharmishtha would you like to introduce yourself uh yes so hi everyone good Good evening. Uh, my name is Sharma Stavanaji, and I'm from Pune. Sharma, I work at. Can you sorry. turn your video on and introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Uh, video. Okay. I, I'll just try. Yeah. Actually, I started that. Can you unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Turn the video on, please. Yeah. Right. So, am I am I visible? I have turned it on. No. On. Who is going ahead? Come on. So shall I go on? Go ahead, Shreya. Shreya. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Yeah. So as you know, my name is Shreya. I am currently pursuing my bachelor's from Zambia School of Economics, Pune. and i came to know about toastmasters from one of my professors we have rakshak sharmishtha and chandu chandu uh, hello good evening everyone my name is chandu i am from hyderabad telangana i did my graduation in uh, tkr college of engineering and currently i am uh, preparing for uh, mba entrance examinations and i came to know about toastmasters from one of my friends thank you over to you thank you rakshak uh, yes sir uh, my name is rakshak guru uh, i have completed uh, ba from navroji wadia college uh, i got to know about this class from my auntie who is currently working in a company there in marigold in kalyani nagar Hello. Are there any guests in the room? There. Hello. Sharmishtha. Yeah. Hi. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can hear, but we can't see you. But uh, anyways, go ahead. Right. Right. So, hi everyone. Good evening. Uh, I am Sharmista, and um, I and one of my friend has also joined soft skills trainer in an IT company. Thank you. There are no guests here, so we can proceed further. Jai Shri, hand over to Nidhi. Yes. 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 Moving ahead with the agenda, please help me welcome our Toastmaster of the day, Nidhi Rajurkar. She is software developer by profession. She has joined Toastmaster to level up 
her leadership and oratory skills she like to explain explore new places and food also like to uh, play with various sports or to you toastmaster of the day ladies and gentlemen may i have your attention please welcome aboard tmcp flight 678 the boarding is completed and we are ready for take off as we prepare for departure i request you to fasten your seat belt and enjoy the ride good evening mr president fellow toastmasters and dear guests welcome to another exciting program of fun and learning at the 678 chapter meeting of toastmaster club of pune i am toastmaster nidhi rajurkar your host or rather your flight captain for this evening travel the definition is as flexible as we want to make it travel is the movement of people between distinct geographical locations travel can be done solo or with a group done by foot bicycle automobile train boat bus airplane ship or any other means with or without luggage can be one way or a round trip the diversity of our planet earth is quite evident and known to all now here i invite you all to help me list the seven continents on earth would anyone want to answer that the seven continents on our earth yes asia yes uh, uh, asia north america uh, europe uh, africa south america uh, antarctica australia and last one and uh, australia yes listed in order of size asia africa north america south america antarctica europe and australia or oceania are seven continents of earth asia is the biggest and australia being the smallest and the five oceans we have are pacific atlantic arctic indian and southern with today's advancement in machineries technology and transportation even traveling to antarctica is possible some of you might have heard or rather i'll tell you ocean nova or magellan explorer are some of the cruise ships which offer 5 to 10 days package for the arctic antarctica trip costing around 15000 dollars per person that is quite expensive and it seems a luxury for many of us but we can prepare a bucket list of our own for one such lifetime experience to give you a trailer i would like to share some of the activities one can do in antarctica did you want to host right uh yes sir okay i have made you co host thank you there are two accounts from which you have signed so i made the uh, one which has video on as co host okay sir Uh, sir can you give access to the other account as well uh, that got dropped out i think okay no problem at all so as i was talking about antarctica so can you guys suggest like what all activities we can do there okay let me help you out there king yes skiing yes skiing is one of it to help you out we penguins. can see antarctica from a helicopter yes prasad sir please penguins you can walk with the penguins you can feed them penguins yes. are very human friendly they come and touch you they are they are not scared of humans exactly penguins are one of one of the wonders at antarctica you can see antarctica from a helicopter kayak in the ice studded waters mountaineer to lofty antarctic summits 
if you are a fan of camping then you can go camp under the southern hemisphere stars hike or snowshoe the icy spans of antarctica and it would be wild but we can also scuba dive below the antarctic waves in ice cold water but i must warn you guys we cannot take anything back we cannot bring anything back from antarctica not a soil sample not even a stone or a pebble as it can be kept there for a research and we never know what is kept there for a research even a plastic bag can be kept there i as i came across antarctica and various such experiences i also came across one such quote which i would like to share we take photos as a return ticket to a moment which is otherwise gone this is by kt thomas let me explain our today's journey for the benefit of the guest we have two sessions the first half will consist of four prepared speeches speakers will attempt to deliver their speeches based on certain objectives in the second half these speeches will be evaluated by senior members who will give their feedback let me remind all the role players to bring out their respective competent leadership manual and share it or hand it over to a person who can evaluate your role now coming to the next part our president is the founder of toastmasters movement in pune he completed 27 years in our movement recently professionally he is a corporate trainer and an economist he led 5000 plus toastmasters across 212 clubs of district 41 as district governor for 2014 year in layman's language he was the all india head he has traveled to 630 cities in 56 countries across all the continents and speak a dozen languages he has traveled to all indian states except two he has been to all major countries that indians normally visit plus he has been to countries such as uruguay argentina brazil cambodia laos greece serbia kosovo north um, uh, macedonia andorra morocco scandinavian and Bal baltic countries <sighs> oh my god prasad sir his bro his goal is to travel to 100 countries and 1000 cities in this lifetime and desire to visit moon plus other planets in the next life let us welcome past district governor distinguished toastmaster prasad soni to give his opening address over to you mr president somebody will have to admit people who are joining no no uh, there are others can kailash and nidhi you are co host as well so please admit people while the meeting is going on when you can am i audible and visible of course i am audible and visible here i am asking the virtual world guys are you able to see me yes uh, yes sir. sir well okay i remember a poem <coughs> which we had read in schools kela ne desha karna पंडित मैत्री सभेत संचार ग्रंथ शास्त्र अवलोकन मनुजा चातुर्य यतसे पार व्हिच मीन्स अ मॅन बिकम स्मार्टर इफ ही ट्रॅव्हल्स अ लॉट इफ ही रीड्स अ लॉट इफ ही मीट्स पीपल अँड अटेंड्स मीटिंग्स लाईक दिस ही मीट्स स्कॉलर्स ही रिव्ह्यूज बुक्स अँड डिस्कस इन दोज देन ही बिकम स्मार्टर सो द फर्स्ट वर्ड इन दॅट इज देशा टर्म व्हिच इज ट्रॅव्हल और ट्रॅव्हल अब्रॉड वाय आर कल्चर ट्रेडिशनली हॅड बॅन्ड see why they were okay with people traveling on land and that is why there used to be people traveling from india to other countries and other countries to india and that's how we <coughs> grew in prominence all over the world india was famous for spices and silk and such things and that's why the westerners or the mid east mid easterners attacked us and tried to capture the land for a long time from like minus 500 the greek invasions later on and until 1196 when the moguls captured so for a period of about 1200 1500 years there were attacks on our land and finally people came in and there was a rule for about 700 but the word deshatan or travel abroad was accepted norm in those days and it is still important for all of us to travel i remember a time when our family used to travel and 
By the way, our generation is considered the luckiest because I have traveled by car, by plane, by train, as every one of you must have traveled. In addition, I have traveled by helicopter and by charter flights as well. And at the other end of the spectrum, I have traveled by bullock cart, I have traveled on camel back, I have traveled on elephant back, I have traveled by tanga in Pune, which used to be a smaller horse cart, and I have traveled by larger horse carts as well. So our generation is lucky that we have traveled by almost all modes of transport known to humans right now. The only thing I have not done yet is travel in a spacecraft. I don't know whether in my lifetime it will become reasonably cheap for me to travel, but in next lifetime, I'm definitely planning to do that. And I remember in the good old days, we used to travel only to cities where we had relatives and where we had some functions to attend. So travel in those days in 1960s and 70s and 80s was limited or I, I believe even before that, but I was born in 1966, so I have witnessed the portion which was related, uh, restricted to only relatives and functions. And later on, we started traveling for business. My father and I used to travel all over India, and the travel used to be for two months, at times more than that. We used to just send a postcard or a telegram from somewhere back home so that they know that we are safe. Then we used to go and stand in queue for a long time for booking railway tickets or uh, enter the train without reservation and then somehow manage your way or sleep on the floor. And now we have come a long way where we can do entire planning sitting at home, entire booking sitting at home and then have fun while traveling. I'm not saying that was less charming. That was also charming. This is also charming. Things have changed, but travel has still remained the charming part of our life. I'm so much looking forward to traveling again when the pandemic ends or if it, even if it doesn't end now, people are so much turned on by travel that they want to travel irrespective of what happens to them. The lifestyle is more important than life for people currently. They don't want to live like the last two years again and therefore we all should travel. Over to you Nidhi. Thank you, Mr. President, for your exceptional address. Travel isn't always pretty. It isn't always comfortable. Sometimes it hurts. It even breaks your heart. But that's okay. The journey changes you, and it should change you. It leaves a mark on your memory, on your consciousness, on your heart, and on your body. You take something with you, hopefully, you will leave something good behind. Now, let me introduce my fellow colleagues who will help me in the control and conduct of this meeting. To maintain order in the meeting and collect ballots, we have a software engineer by profession, willing to become a good leader and good speaker. Her most memorable trip was her first foreign trip to Singapore. As Singapore is a tourist place, there are many places to visit and she had an amazing time at Cloud Forest in Singapore. She is Toastmaster Jayashree. To keep track of the time, we have a motivational speaker who loves reading and listening to music. Her most memorable trip was to Hyderabad to attend Toastmasters conference along with other fellow Toastmasters in November 2015. Her dream destination is Spain and she is Toastmaster Tamanna. To keep track of pauses or fillers that we use, we have a new Toastmaster who is an IIT graduate currently building driverless car with Jaguar Land Rover. His hobbies are to play football and cricket. He enjoys reading business, finance, history books and analyzing financial statements of listed companies. His most memorable trip was his first trip with friends in the last semester to Lunavla and Mathiran. They camped lakeside, trekked mountains, and enjoyed the nature. When asked about his dream destination, he said it's Barcelona, Spain. He wants to visit Camp Nou, the football stadium of his favorite club, FC Barcelona. I think he is Toastmaster Piyush. I think Toastmaster Piyush, many others who are FC Barcelona fans would like to join you there. To give us the critical feedback of language that we use and highlight upon the good and not so good usage of English, 
we have a software engineer by profession she is passionate about solving the real world problems aspires to become an engineer who can give solution to all the problems let us welcome toastmaster sakshi who will introduce the word of the day and phrase of the day over to you language evaluator toastmaster Thank you, sakshi toastmaster of the day good evening mr president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guests i will now introduce a word of the day and end of the day word of the day for today is wanderlust which means very strong or irresistible impulse to travel for example over the years i have traveled to almost 30 countries and really had the wanderlust would anyone like to give it a try Yes, please go ahead. I have a strong wanderlust, but I'm too scared to travel alone. Thank you, Toastmaster. Uh, now I will introduce uh, the idiom of the day. Idiom of the day is to live out of a suitcase, which means to briefly stay in several locations, never staying in the same place long enough to unpack your bags. For example. Tom lived out of a suitcase for several months while traveling. Would anyone like to give it a try? Yes, I would. Yeah, sure. So James Bond typically travels out of a suitcase. Like, uh, yeah, James Bond typically lives out of a suitcase while on missions. That's really nice. Thank you, Toastmaster. Uh, in Toastmasters, we encourage. Uh, everyone who used the word of the day and idiom of the day by showing a thumbs up and i'll be uh, noting down noting down the good and bad usages of the english language and i'll present my report at the end of the meeting over to you toastmaster vidhi thank you toastmaster sachi someone else will be observing every single thing which will happen tonight later that person will give us feedback about the proceedings the environment and general comments to act as general evaluator we have someone who loves to travel the world via postcards his hobby is postcard writing let's welcome distinguished toastmaster tushar the united nations world tourism organization has celebrated world tourism day as as international observance on september 27th with that i would like you to raise your fingers one by one if you have been to the places i call out at the end of the meet and the at the end we'll count how many fingers we have raised for that i request all of you to please switch on your cameras so i'll call out names of the destinations one by one and you have to raise your fingers if you have been to that place kashmir the second one is shimla in himachal pradesh leh ladakh gangtok sikkim varanasi gang uh, munnar kerala run of kutch in gujarat jaisalmer in rajasthan jaipur in rajasthan mysore in karnataka how many of you have all the 10 fingers raised any one of you okay more than 7 no 6 yeah 6 i got okay, more than 5 I think Prasad sir, you are the only one. Anyone else who has more than five fingers raised? Nandan and Piyush are there. Nandan and Piyush. Wow. So as we can see, we have lot many places to go, and just to tell you guys, these were the top train train travel destinations in India. The first half of the the first half consists of four prepared speeches from the Pathways program. Each speech. has a specific time limit and certain fixed objectives that's why we call it as a project each project teaches us some aspect of public speech public speaking such as body language or vocal variety or persuasive skill 
there are many such aspects that the speakers will try to develop and excel at. The first speaker will attempt level one, project one icebreaker from the leadership development path. Evaluator for this speech is TM Akash Bhojraj. Time allowed is four to six minutes, meaning the lighting sequence is green at four minutes, yellow at five minutes, red at six minutes. The buzzer will sound at six and a half minutes. The speaker graduated in town and country planning and loves to sing, trek, and travel. Meet new, play, meet new people, play chess and badminton. Her most memorable trip was to Raigad Fort because her whole family, which consisted of 17 members, were a part of that trip and they had a lot of fun and adventure. Let's welcome Toastmaster Ankita. I also planned to consider MBA as my career option. 
and I am currently as a student as an MBA student in the Department of Management Sciences, Pumba. Growing up, I my, I have realized some very important things. My parents had a really a bad life earlier. My father. He had no money in his pocket when he left his house. And after that, he actually managed to build an empire of himself, uh, build, uh, to become a good builder. And my mom, she managed to become a Zilla Parishan school teacher all on her own. I think uh, they both are my first role models in my life. I also have a few younger brother who is just a year younger than me. Talking about myself, I actually believe that if I learn, I keep learning in my life, I would achieve great heights. And for that, I should develop skills in me. I should invest time in developing skills. I should encourage myself to be a good speaker. I, in future, want to build a business of my own and hence, for that, I would need the support of Toastmasters. Toastmasters would give me platform to be myself, to, to work on my goals, to work on my dreams, to help me build into a better leader and a better communicator in future and help me grow in the process. And I'm looking forward to learning from you all. Thank you. Thank you Toastmaster Ankita for such an exciting speech. We will all help you and support you in your journey. Let's pause for 30 seconds to write feedback for the speaker on blank chats provided or chat window. Timer, please let us know once 30 seconds are over. Thank you, Timer. One fun fact I would like to share here is the shortest commercial flight takes less than two minutes between neighboring islands of Westray and Papa Westray in Scotland. Now, if you imagine that, you would be going to that airport two hours early before the departure for just two minutes flight. I would rather swim the ocean to just go to Papa Westray instead of waiting for uh, waiting in the queue for just two minutes flight, I would say. The second speaker will attempt project level one, project three, research and presentation from the dynamic leadership pathway. Evaluator for this speech is Toastmaster Nandan. Time allowed is five to seven minutes, meaning the lighting sequences, green at five minutes, yellow at six minutes, red at seven minutes, and the buzzer will sound at seven and a half minutes. The title of the speech is War of the Currents. The speaker is an IT professional working as an engineer in the company called Six Sense Insights. He loves sketching. Let's welcome Toastmaster Kailash. Uh, am I audible and visible? What? Yes. Right. Yes. Mr. President, Toastmaster of the day, hello Toastmasters and your guests. A very good evening. Starting, starting early 1880s, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla were in the battle uh, now known as a war of the current. So before uh, getting into more detail, let me explain you a type of the current we have today. First, we have a direct current, also known as a DC, where current only flows in one direction and have a constant voltage over the time. The example of DC current sources are batteries and cells. This current was invented by uh, Thomas Edison, who also invented a light bulb. 
and secondly uh, we have alternative current which is also known as the ac where current flows in both direction and it changes its direction certain number of time per second and voltage uh, in this current changes constantly over the time we uh, we all uh, at a home get 50 hertz of ac uh, ac power supply that means the current is changing its direction 50 number of time per second this current was invented by uh, electrical engineer nikola tesla tesla being a poor guy couldn't compete against uh, thomas edison so he decided to sell all his patent to a person named george westinghouse so westinghouse had all the resources to compete uh, compete against uh, thomas edison and to take alternative uh, alternative current to global level uh, Okay, so in the earlier, uh, earlier days of electricity, we only have a DC current and uh, most of the people in America were only using a DC current. But DC current has some two problems, two major problems. The first is it cannot be converted to higher and lower voltage very easily. And the second problem it has uh, in the, the problem in transmission. So if you want to transmit DC, uh, DC power to a long distance, you need to use an uh, intermediary station at short interval to transmit it to long interval. So Tesla, uh, Nikola Tesla uh, believed that alternative, alternative current could solve these problems since the alternative current is, uh, uh, alternative current don't have that problem of uh, converting it to the higher and lower voltage and uh, it don't need it any intermediary station to transmit the current to a long distance. But Thomas Edison uh, don't want it to lose his, his loyalty coming from uh, the patent of a direct current. So he started a campaign he started to campaign to miscredit uh, alternative current. He spread misinformation saying that alternative current is more dangerous. He uh, also started to publicly uh, electric with straight animal to prove his point that how dangerous the alternative current is. And there was a turning point. Uh, the World Fair of Chicago uh, took place in 1893, where uh, both Thomas Edison and uh, George, uh, George Westinghouse using Tesla's electric, uh, Tesla's alternative current bid to light the fair. Uh, having the advantages of alternative current over transmission uh, and lower pri pri price in uh, like roll lower cost in transmission, the George Westinghouse uh, won the bid, and they uh, successfully light the fair completely using the alternative current. Same here, uh, Negra Negra Paul Power Company. Uh, awarded George Westinghouse for the alternative current, and they licensed the Tesla's polyphase alternative current motor to generate electricity uh, from the Negra Fall and supply the power to uh, Buffalo City in New York. Though some believed that, like some doubted that uh, the power generated uh, from the Negra Fall using alternative current uh, could not power the entire Buffalo, but the Tesla strongly believed that the power generated from the Negra Fall not only powered the Buffalo, but it could, it, it could uh, also power the entire Eastern United States. And that was true. In 19, uh, sorry, in 1896, the Buffalo, the entire Buffalo was light up with uh, alternative current, current generated from ne uh, Negra, uh, Negra Fall. And it was a turning point, uh, it was a turning point for uh, alternative current. Was, uh, yeah, it was turning point for alternative current and people started to using alternative current. And even the uh, General Electric Company owned by uh, Thomas Edison also, uh, also catch the alternative current trend. So it would appear that alternative current was uh, winning this uh, particular war. But now if you, if you look around in our current days, we are using many of our electrical appliances which are powered by, powered by direct current. So today, uh, Electricity, like electricity is predominantly powered by alternative current, but there are some devices like computers, LEDs, and uh, even the laptops, all these are, are still powered by direct current. And even the solar power, uh, the, the, uh, a so, solar panel, which, which are generating the power in, in the form of DC, we are converting that current to uh, alternative current to just uh, transmit it to a long distance. And then we get the alternative, uh, alternative current at our home we are again uh, converting into, uh, it into back to uh, DC 
to uh, to power our laptop and computer and LEDs, LED uh, displays and all LED bulb and all. Now we are losing so much energy in this conversion that uh, it's a very significant basically. And now uh, since uh, since the direct current is very stable, uh, it's very stable. And now the methods are available to convert the direct current to lower and high, higher voltage. So there are some companies looking a way to uh, looking a way to transmit the high voltage direct current to long distance without a uh, significant loss in energy. So it uh, so it seems like uh, the war of the current is not ended yet and it is continuing its heated, uh, heated battle, uh, AC versus, uh, it, it's heated AC versus DC battle. And it looks like uh, we, uh, we will end up using both direct and uh, alternative current in parallel in kind of hybrid manner. And uh, none of this would be possible without the two genius, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Thank you. Our two TMOD. Thank you, Toastmaster Kailash, for such an exciting speech and such information, such, such informative speech about the currents. Now here, I would like to share one more fun fact. And before that, let's pause for 30 seconds to write feedback for the speaker on the blank chats provided or the chat window. Timer, please let us know once 30 seconds are over. Yeah. Nidhi, time's up. Okay. So the fun fact I was talking about. Japanese railways, reputedly the most punctual in the world, issues passengers with a delay certificate even if the train is running behind the schedule by just five minutes. Now, if we imagine that in India, we would be carrying one more bag full of delay certificates, I guess. Coming to the third speech. The third speaker will attempt level three, project three, negotiating the best outcome from dynamic leadership pathway. Evaluator for this speech is Toastmaster Kaivalya. Time allowed is five to seven minutes, meaning the lighting sequence will be same as the previous speech. The title of the speech is an integral component in one's life. The speaker is a graduate in microbiology. He loves to play football and cricket and also likes to watch test cricket, AEW and premier league matches. His most memorable trip was the trip to Alibag with his family as it was his last trip with his dad and also because the family trip happened after three years. His dream destination is Fiji because of its scenic beauty. Let's welcome Toastmaster Tej Sharma. Am I audible for the question? Yes. Speak louder. Good evening, Mr. President, Toastmaster of the Day, Distinguished Toastmaster, Fellow Toastmaster, and my dear friends. What is that one thing that is important in one's life? What is that one skill that everyone is born with? There are many components in one's life that enriches us. One of those components is negotiation. Negotiation is a strategic discussion that resolves an issue in a way that both parties find it acceptable. Each party tries to come to an agreement that will serve its own interest. There are various 
negotiation scenes that one encounters. Generally, you see negotiation between a customer and a salesman, or with our mothers, with vegetable sellers, or with a shopkeeper. In the situation between the customer and the salesman, the customer is in two minds whether to buy the product or reject the product. And the salesman is on a mission to use his, his persuasive skills to either gain the interest of the customer or get the customer convinced so that the customer can buy the product. The effective use of the persuasive skill of the salesman and the customer being convinced leads to a win-win situation between both the parties involved. My personal experience with negotiation was a time where I wanted to go out with my friends for drinks and dinner. And since it was a night plan, I decided to take the car. But my mom was aware about my plan of having drinks. And hence, as a typical mother, she gave me two options. First one was to either take the Uber or call your friends at home. And you do not want to call your friends at home because you want to talk about some certain topics. Certain topics such as relationships, family issues, and each one of us issues that are happening in our lives. So, and hence I decided to take an Uber and went to Redox to have drinks. In this situation, it led it led to, to my mother to be at peace and also so was I. This was a healthy compromise between my mother and I. Another instance that I remember of negotiation was when I was in my 12th standard and we had to give our psychology presentation and an assignment. The teacher had called on anyone to come forward and give the presentation. And as a, as a typical student, no one came forward to give the presentations. In order to counter this dilemma, the teacher suddenly offered five extra marks to the student who comes forward to give their presentation. I, as a fool, took that bait and quickly seized the opportunity to gain those five marks. As at that time, I was not that confident in coming forward and giving my own presentation. Me giving that presentation led to a spark of confidence amongst my other classmates, which was the motive of the teacher, as well as it also helped me in building up my risk taking skills and also got me some brown, extra brownie points. Any football fans in the meeting? Okay. What is the period of January mean in the footballing world? Not that I know. So it, in January, it is the time of transfers where we see the incoming and outgoing of players. For example, the transfer of Philip Coutinho from Barcelona to Aston Villa on a loan deal or the transfer of Dusan Vlaovic from Florentina to Juventus on a permanent deal. Another example is the ongoing contract negotiations between Mo Salah and Liverpool. These players get selected based on their skill, their performance, and their ability to improve another club's performance. In this particular window, or any window of the transfers that happen in the football world, we, see, we tend to see different strategies of negotiation which will be beneficial for the club and also for the player. On a personal note, I do not associate myself to be a negotiator because I did not spend that much time in developing that skill of negotiation. And when I was going through this project and understanding different, different strategies of negotiation, I started realizing the importance of negotiation. So I need time in understanding and developing this skill. In life, there are circumstances where we have to deal with ourselves or with other people. Humans are already born with the skill of negotiation. 
you just have to know the skill and develop it to be a strong person so that you can deal with it. Thank you, Toastmaster Tej, for the wonderful speech. Let's pause for 30 seconds to write feedback for the speaker on blank chits provided or share it on the chat window. Timer, please let us know once 30 seconds are over. Thank you, Timer. A fun fact to share is Saudi Arabia has no permanent river. So if you go there, you will not have a bridge to cross a river in Saudi Arabia. Moving onwards, the fourth speaker will attempt level five, project one, prepared to speak professionally from the presentation mastery pathway. The purpose of this project is to practice is developing and presenting a longer speech. Evaluator for this speech is Distinguished Toastmaster Nagappan. Time allowed is 18 to 22 minutes, meaning the lighting sequence is green at 18 minutes, yellow at 20 minutes, red at 22 minutes. The buzzer will sound at 22 and a half minutes. The title of the speech is The Globe Trotter. The speaker is someone who I had introduced earlier in the day. He has served as a charter president of our club and came back to serve as a president again when we had a shortage of willing leaders due to the pandemic. I will just say briefly that he is hodophile, mellophile, cinephile, bibli bibliophile, and polyglot, meaning he loves traveling, music, movies, books, and languages. Let's welcome distinguished Toastmaster Prasad, sir. Uh, before you time me, I would like to apologize for my moving out and in today because my father is hospitalized. So I'm getting updates about that. So I'm sorry if I disturbed anyone's speech. Well, especially when you were speaking, when you were speaking, I had to go out, so I'm sorry about that. I normally never move when speeches are going on or check even messages, but today I'm forced to. Okay. Am I audible and visible? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, here are some names which I'm going to share with you. Eugene Maguire, Tatiana Nitareva, Vincent Chu. Do these names mean anything to you? Probably not. Similarly, Alfredo Delgado Telly, Antonio Castro, Natasia Machado, Laura Naish, Monica Eldosh, and several others. Who are these people? These are people who were unknown to me, but I met them through my travel. Some of them I hosted at my home, so much so that Eugene Maguire was the first foreigner to stay at my home in India. And Later on, when I explained to him that my son will have great ceremony soon or Munja, he came down from Australia all the way to just attend great ceremony of my son. That is the kind of bonding we have had because of this stay at my home. And similarly, I have traveled to many countries and stayed in the homes of many people. And I have built lifelong bonds because of that. Many people ask me, how do you travel so much? How are you able to save on money while you travel. And I'm going to share some secrets with you regarding that. There are four things which you essentially do when you travel and then you will save a lot of money. For example, in the year 2019, my son and I traveled all over Europe, 13 countries each. Uh, we went together for about uh, 45 days or so. And he was there earlier than me and I came back later than him. So he stayed there for 84 days, I stayed there for 55 days. 
and together the entire expenses of this trip including charges such as photocopying and visa fees that he had to travel to delhi for his visa as well all this together came to less than 6 lakh rupees for three months for him and two months for me so that is the power of good travel if you manage it the way i'm going to tell you so first thing is you must have long term planning for that although it's pandemic going on currently i'm planning my next few trips the one which will happen sooner i hope is central american countries i'm traveling from mexico to panama via guatemala honduras nicaragua costa rica and so on then i'm planning a trip from vladivostok to st petersburg in russia which is a 10000 km train ride which takes seven days for the train but i'll be stopping over at many places so i'll be taking a month to cover that and then i'm planning a trip to central asian countries like kazakhstan tajikistan turkmenistan kyrgyzstan and so on as well as another trip to georgia armenia and azerbaijan so these are trips for which i have done the planning during this phase so you must plan well then you must connect with people and must connect with many people <coughs> wherever it is possible for you to network for that you have to join networks but it's not enough just to join networks once you join networks you must also stay in touch with those people so you might somehow remember sometimes some person walks in here who has been a member of this club or visitor of this club after 10 years and i still recognize him because i have kept in touch with that person somehow so keep in touch with people who who you meet the names that i mentioned earlier they greet me and i greet them on their respective birthdays plus i send them wishes during festive occasions such as christmas for them or whichever religion they are from so i wish them on their religions uh, religious dates important dates so you have to stay in touch plus whenever somebody from a country wins something for example there was a czech player who had won remember the last year a friend of mine last year so i wished all my czech friends that now you must be proud because of that and they feel that this kind of touch helps our friendship grow whenever i watch watch movies at film festivals and those are from those countries i write to them and ask them which are the movies that i should watch there was a hungarian film festival in pune recently so i wrote to all my hungarian friends asking them which all movies out of these four or five should i watch so in addition to whatever info i get on imdb and wikipedia and other the portals i get inputs from locals who have watched those films and similarly if they have to watch some indian movies i give them inputs as well and after the festival is over i again thank those who give me feedback about the feedback that they gave and what were my feelings of that particular movie which they are recommended so these are ways in which you can stay in touch with people forever without having to worry too much it doesn't take a lot of time all it takes is a few emails or few whatsapp messages once in a while you all spend so much time on internet anyway so this this just take out some time for such network connections and keeping those connections alive and you would notice the difference so if you do these things there are things which will happen when you travel abroad and they will help you a lot i am going to tell you <coughs> about the childhood journey which i had i already mentioned that in my residential address and in those days we used to just travel for i said as i said our hometowns my uh, parents hail from konkan belt so uh, we have ancestral ancestral homes in ratnagiri district and raigad districts although we all were born in pune but their homes are there so we used to visit those plus we used to visit relatives in other cities like thane nasik Uh, mumbai sangli and typical the contacts of pureans at that time and i used to imagine since then that i should travel beyond this i should travel beyond the network that we already have and what was the way forward for that so i started something known as pen friendship there was an organization called iys international youth service they had organized in 1952 a worldwide network of people where youth could get connected to each other i think the age group was something like 12 to 20 or 12 to 19 teenagers typically and you could write what are your hobbies and interests and you could write your choice of countries and they would connect you with a person from those countries 
typically of, 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 of the opposite gender. So I wrote, I, I joined that network by paying some small 10 rupees or 20 rupees, which was paid to international postal stamps. And I got one address. Then I wrote and corresponded with that person. Then I got a letter from this organization, IYS, that if you help us get two more, uh, 10 more friends of yours to join, we'll give you two more addresses free. And if you help us get 20 friends of yours join, you will get six addresses. So that was more than double. Okay, two for 10 and six for 20. Naturally, I went for 20 and I convinced all my classmates to pay for this. I got 20 easily and I got six more addresses. So I had seven friends at that time for countries such as Greece, Italy, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, and so on. And I had stayed in touch with them regularly. Every month I used to write to them and they used to write to me once they received my letter. Once I received their letter, I used to write to them and we used to send photos via a small envelope and we used to write about what, what we are doing, what our family members are doing and things like that. Due to which both our families also know each other because that was the highlight of when, when you receive a letter like that in the days before internet, these things were highlights of the day. Okay. So I stayed in touch with them more before internet than after internet. So from 1985 to 1993, we used to communicate regularly once a month or after I started working maybe once in three months. But then I shifted to Singapore, I changed my address five, six times. I had to change that because of uh, change of job as well as change of home because of that and so on. And some of them dropped out because of that. Maybe they sent a letter to the old address and their address had changed there and I somehow lost touch. But I kept sending letters wherever I could. And somehow, some of them wrote back when they had email IDs. When I had email ID, I wrote to them. And we shifted the correspondence online. So four of them are still in touch. And I visited two of them. In 1998, my wife and I visited two of my parents. They were sisters. Uh, the original address that was given to me by OS that was that of Babyana Bade, but she spoke no English. Her sister Bruna Bade spoke good English. So both of them used to write to me. One in broken English, the other in good English, or she used to help her translate. And we visited their home in Italy. They hosted us for dinner, for wine, and we had a good time that evening where we chatted a lot about each other's culture. We gave them gifts from India. They gave us gifts from Italy and hosted us for a nice dinner. And my wife was surprised because she had not imagined that I would have such a great connection in another country. Then in 2013, I was in Greece and I had a friend there called Dimitra Davilu, who not only helped me get my visa because she had to give an affidavit that I know this person, I take responsibility for his departure from the country and so on. She wrote all those things and gave it to the government for visa. Once I went there, she took leave for four days and hosted me It was a small village called Kiveri near Athens. I was hosted in Athens by some postmasters. I traveled three hours to go to Kiveri from where she picked me up. And I learned at that time that she was a very short person, almost like a dwarf. So she had infinite complex since childhood. Her family had trouble about her psychological challenges because of her being short. But it didn't matter to me. I didn't know. And had I known, it wouldn't have made any difference to me. So my friendship with her was pure. And that is what was appreciated by her as well as her parents. When I went to her village, everybody in that village knew me. It was a small village. Although the infrastructure was extremely good, the first shop that we hit on the road asked us to stop and they offered me beer. The neighboring shop came with potato chips and he said, he said, this is from me. And I said, do you guys know me? And they said, yes, you are Prasad from India, we know you. So because in that village, she had she was the only one who had joined IYS and had been friends. And she had told her, her family owned a grocery shop. So everyone visited their home and the family had told everyone that we are getting a visitor from India and he's such and such person who is a pen friend of Dimitra. So for that period of four days, everybody in the village knew me. They greeted me whenever I went everywhere. And her family consisted of her parents, Dimitra herself, her sister, sister, husband and sisters, two kids. Plus, they had a cousin who had come down to visit them for holiday over the weekend. 
when I was there. And each day morning we used to go and visit places which were far off from the city, of, from the village in which he stayed. And we visited Epitaurus and also pots, which are famous in Greece. And in the evening, we used to sit by the beach. The beach was unique because it had no waves, sea waves. It was a sea beach, but there were no waves. It was deeper inside, inland. And there was cold breeze always on that beach. And the weather was always amicable in the evenings. We used to sit back there, relax, and have a barbecue and have drinks and chat. And I have seen some ads. By the way, when I left Greece, the family members cried and they gave me homemade jam and homemade, homemade ouzo, which is a local wine, just as you do in India. Okay, when somebody visits and you have made something, you give that to them. So this was unforgettable experience for me. I saw ads at Athens airport, which described MasterCard. You must have seen those ads, you know, XYZ is priceless, but for everything else, we have MasterCard. So there were several such ads at Athens, Athens airport, which said, Meeting idols from your school textbooks is priceless for everything else there is MasterCard and so on. So I coined a phrase that day, staying in a family whom you had never met before, as if you are a family member and being welcomed by them is priceless for everything else there is MasterCard. So friends, this is how if you have connections for a long time, even though you might not have met, we had connected somehow. Okay. Our hearts were connected, we were close friends. And that is why I received such great reception. Now, some of you might wonder that <coughs> this was good old days, now there is no such thing possible. There is possibility. You can still join some network. There is a network called Post Crossing. Tushar Sonji over here, distinguished Toastmaster, is an expert in that. And you can reach out to him, he will guide you. You can join Post Crossing. I have recently joined that network because I had no bandwidth earlier. And in, during the pandemic, there were no postcards going out of India. Now they have started. So you can join Post Crossing. They give you a random address to which you send a postcard. And once that person receives, he enters the port. And you will get a random postcard from somebody somewhere in the world. And when you get that, you enter the port. So that's how the connections are established. You can reach out to many people in this manner. These mm -hmm. are random connections. You don't get a choice. But I think the system matches your desires and your hobbies in some way. I am going to ask you a question. How many of you have home or family in many countries? A sailor is said to have a family in every port. Because wherever he goes, he has a girlfriend. But I don't mean something like that. What I mean is having family connections, like, like I explained. that I can go there anytime in these two experiences which I mentioned. Or I can go to many other countries in the world where I will be welcome at their home. And they will be welcome at my home as well. So we are family. Now, how to do this? This is the concept of home hospitality. Okay, this is a global network of home hospitality. It is free of cost. They don't charge you anything for stay, nor do you charge anyone for stay. So this concept began 78 years ago by a company called Sarvas who started home hospitality as a gift economy. Gift economy means you give somebody something without expecting anything in return, not even having hopes of getting anything in return. We just do a good work, good deed. And that person may go on and do good deed to somebody else. So this will be paying forward by that person. But you don't expect that. Somehow, someday, the universe will collaborate and you will get benefited as well. So you can join such networks after Sarvas was hospitality club. And today there's a network called Couch Surfing, which is the largest with about 15 million people in that particular network. Okay, it's a very large network. You can join couchsurfing.com. Uh, it is free for Indians. Earlier it was free for everyone, but recently they made changes because they wanted to run the website and earn some money. So they have started charging countries which have richer per capita income. India is exempted, so you can join from India and you don't have to pay anything. Now, why should you stay at somebody's home? You can travel and stay in a hotel, it doesn't matter, right? The reason is you get insight into the mindset of that person. Through my experiences of home hospitality, I came to know that a Swedish member of parliament goes by train to her office. 
and her son stays in the same building in a flat owned by her and she charges rent to that son the son pays rent to father and mother every month now these are the things which you don't know normally you won't come to know if you stay in hotels but if you stay in the homes this is this all right or in uruguay people go out the youth in uruguay go out for partying at 2 am and come back at 6 am the bars are open but they don't really have crowd at 2 am so 2 am to 6 am is the time to party so this is good for people like take shower and okay, watch a football game and after that go so these are things you know only when you travel and stay in the homes of people i met many couples who hosted me and they were not married but they were living in and this is a trend which is grabbing the attention of many youth today many of the young members today and i think even in future we can expect travel they want to do, not marry somebody but stay live in with somebody or teach them or oh, it's already happy about that now how to do that you join out something or post crossing create your own profile write things about you which will attract other persons to connect with you and then send out mailers whenever you want to connect for example we have qatar world cup coming up this year we have olympics in paris in two years time so when such events happen you write to people in those places now and say i want to attend that time and i want to meet you if not be hosted by you and they will respond some of them may not say yes however i must warn you that it is easier for a young 25 year old white female to get hosted by anyone than for a 55 year old bald fat indian man to be hosted so to give discount to the fact that not everyone would welcome you because they may have some biases about you or your country or your age group or your profile and so no lady travelers beware there can be dangers for you if you are easily accepted in someone's home does that mean it will be easy right for you so what you should do you should family instead of single boys accepting you in their home you can meet single boys stay at somebody's home choose a family that will be safer for you <coughs> as i mentioned you did one man was told that there was a guy called vincent chu who visited me three four times from hong kong and when we visited hong kong his home was under renovation but he thought that we didn't believe him so he took us to his home and showed that it was under renovation actually and the tiles were removed but what he added value was what he did to add value was he used to be with us from 1 am to about 11 pm 1 pm to 11 pm after his university classes got over he was a professor and he used to show us things such as you know the view from 23rd floor of this building is amazing and we get free access to that 23rd floor please carry your passport tomorrow or things like that so you wouldn't know normally such things unless some local person guides you then i visited somebody in yogya karta in indonesia and purchased paintings in that city but when i went to purchase paintings i couldn't find a good deal and i didn't like the design that were available at that time and the guys were closing and i had to leave next morning for my flight so the home of owner who had hosted me he had some lovely paintings on the wall i asked him where did you get this how can i get this he said take this so he gave me those i paid him money for that because i didn't want to have a situation where he was forced to give me because of hospitality but the amount was very less because he told me the price which was which is what i paid him immediately it was a really low price you won't get that kind of painting of that quality at such a low price in india now there are some bad experiences as well i was hosted by somebody in egypt trader in indonesia as well as shenzhen in china and they expected money from me and i had to pay them because uh, they wanted money and in one case they told directly that the shenzhen guy said i run a hotel here it was called guest house and everyone else here pays so you also pay but i give you the biggest room the best room and i am charging you less than others or something like that so we paid my friend was with me that time and in case of ijen i just left that home because i felt uncomfortable so there are bad experiences which you will get once in a while but that adds beauty to the other good experiences that you get so just keep on networking and what you can do for that is 
you can also join the network first by hosting people since that is safer alternative somebody stays at your home you have your family to protect you it's no risk for you so join the network you decide the terms for example i always state that you will get three meals freshly made at the time at which we eat if you are present at home that time you cannot come to sleep after 10 pm you cannot be just a guest in a hotel at my home you can just don't come to sleep and use internet you have to chat with us that's how the concept of home hospitality is and we give terms that okay we have this room which we allocate to you but it will be available only for you exclusively at night and during the day others will also use it so you decide terms like that and i have thought of some networks for you one is rotary second is toastmaster third is isec fourth is iscon fifth is post crossing so if you use these networks you can travel all over the world and now i ask you how many of your families all over the world everyone of you will say yes correct over to you to sponsor of the day thank you distinguished toastmaster prasad for such an enriching life experiences and sharing those with us let's pause for 30 seconds to write feedback for the speaker on blank sheets provided or the chat window timer please let us know once 30 seconds are over thank you timer when it comes to planning tour and travel especially youngsters are motivated by movies and series which show extravagant locations and relatable characters who overcome their fears problems and hurdles after a trip one such movie to name would be zindagi na milegi dobara can i have some more names of such movies which have motivated you to travel and go on trips दिल चाहता है दिल चाहता है दिल चाहता है सम मोर मूवीज प्लीज ईट प्रे लव ईट प्रे लव वाओ दैट इज अ मूवी ऑफ जूलिया रॉबर्ट्स यस यस सम मोर मूवीज प्लीज इनटू द वाइल्ड इनटू द वाइल्ड देयर इज मूवी कॉल्ड देयर कम सितंबर इज देयर Okay, I have not watched it, but I surely will add it in my bucket list. <laughs> you must. It is nineteen sixties. Nineteen sixties. Wow. Yes, some more movies to name would be Karwa, which is Irfan Khan's late Irfan Khan's movie. Dil Chahta Hai, as one of you said, Z and M D. Dil Dhadakne Do, and Ye Jawani Hai Diwani. How can we forget that? We all wanted to be Bani when that movie came out. now with that let's have the timers report toastmaster tamanna can you give us exact timings yes so please spoke for 5 minutes 36 seconds tell us for 6 minutes 45 seconds and then we will stop for 5 minutes 52 seconds and prasad spoke for 22 minutes 43 seconds prasad does not follow correct okay I request everyone to cast the vote when the polls are up for the best speaker. All the others are qualified, right? Yes. We just edit this. Give me a sec. Okay. Coming to that, I always related with Naina from Ye Jawani Hai Diwani because I had specs. I was studious. Never went on any trips with with friends actually. But as we are back with the timer. let's cast our votes
Prasad sir, are yeah. we done with the poll? Uh, here we are done with the poll, so I'll just close the online poll as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to Dil Chahta Hai, this movie particularly was released in 2000s and I used to feel it is way beyond the years because I could relate to Dil Chahta in today's date. And back in 2000s, when I was like five or six years old, I couldn't think. I was just fascinated by the uh, open roof car and the Chapura Fort, Agwada Fort and the Goa scenery beaches. And to come to that, how many, how many of you have related to Bunny from Ye Jawani Hai Diwani? Or in fact, male version of Naina as well, which was Deepika Padukone's character, I would say. Okay, Avinash or Aditi? I'll leave it you guys. I know many of you have already related with those, but you're not speaking up, but that's okay, that's okay. And now to end this part of the meeting, and coming back to the second, can we have five minutes break? Prasad sir, do yeah, we yeah. have time yeah. for five minutes break? Yeah, yeah, we have. It's part yes. of the agenda. Let's have let us have a five minute break and be back in the meeting. Uh, no, sir. I'm messaging you right away. Can we restart? Yeah, what is the question title? I saw the two things that you have sent. Uh, Favorite destination or something? Uh, yes, preferred destination. Huh? Preferred, preferred destination. Okay. Namaskar. यात्रियों को सूचित किया जाता है कि TMCP गाड़ी क्रमांक 678 अपने निर्धारित समय पर स्टेशन 1 से स्टेशन 2 की ओर रवाना कर चुकी है कृपया अपनी जगह पर बैठे रहें और आगे की यात्रा का पूर्ण आनंद लें वेलकम बैक यू गाइस नाउ हियर आई वुड जंप स्ट्रेट टू द क्वेश्चन Please share your preferred holiday location over the pole. Is it beach or mountains? So we will vote here. Okay. okay. Sure. Let's collect clips. Yeah. Or just raise your hands. Okay. How many of you are beach guys? One, two, three, four. No, you're not. Three mountain, four mountain. So we have four mountain and three beach here. And in the pole, there are more <coughs> beach guys, six, two. In total, we have nine beach people and six mountain people. The point I would like to share here is that according to studies, introvert personalities are more likely to pick mountainous locations while while picking a holiday destination, whereas extroverts prefer the beach. Now it's time for the evaluation. I don't agree with that. I'm extrovert and I still prefer mountains. <laughs> because, because of your wide experience, sir, you have been to so many countries and so many geographies. 
but okay i think it's a generic study so we have to go with the average rule yes i think anyway. but there are exceptions as it is not a fact it is just a uh, study report now it's time for the evaluations the four evaluators will give their written and oral feedback to the speaker at the end of the meeting but they will also give some feedback in two or three minutes here the time in sequence is green at 2 minutes yellow at 2 and 1/2 minutes and red at 3 minutes the buzzer at 3 minutes 30 seconds the first speech by toastmaster ankita will be evaluated by someone who is a game developer and a management enthusiast he likes reading books writing and gaming his most memorable trip was to usa specifically new york He went to the most awesome street of Fifth Avenue, which is featured in most of the Hollywood films. The cameras there showed live video of people standing on the stairs, and that too on a big screen. Seeing himself on the screen was exhilarating for him. Let's welcome Toastmaster Akash. Thank you so much, President Toastmaster. of the day and fellow toastmasters and dear guests i am here for uh, quickly evaluating uh, the speech given by ankita dev i really liked the uh, speech uh, very interesting anecdotes and very interesting experiences uh, she had in her life and also a few suggestions from my side uh, like take your time while speaking uh, there is no uh, like uh, if you feel that uh, there is some uh, you are in thinking something take a pause next is uh, like uh, if you are feeling a bit uh, exhilarated you can take a breath and continue your speech so uh, definitely a excellent speech for you, uh, for you also it was a, i think your first speech you are considering it, it was an ice breaker so congratulations and kudos and uh, like i would be looking forward to see, see you speak again thank you so much thank you thank you toastmaster akash travel boosts our confidence improves our communication skills one such example to prove this point the person is among us distinguished toastmaster prasad sir coming back to the evaluations The second speech by Toastmaster Kailash will be evaluated by someone who is an engineer with an MBA. He is an author, a corporate a, co- a corporate professional, and a turnaround expert. His interests include technology, books, scriptures, drawing, painting. Let's welcome Toastmaster Nandan sir. Thank you very much, Toastmaster uh, today. respected president those must of the day uh, and all the guests it is a fantastic session i would say going on today for the wanderlust and the traveling and uh, very fantastic speeches which we have heard today and i am here to evaluate the uh, speech of war of currents which was given by toastmaster kailash sutar it is said that competition is very good because it makes everyone better so uh, this is said by adq who is the senior vice president of apple and the speech actually brought about a lot of things like that so beginning with the uh, uh, the evaluation of speech it was a very good example which was given by the uh, toastmaster kailash wherein he has given a very good background of the war of currents or war of concept about current and what is better and what is not about with about tikol nikola tesla and edison he had compiled a very good technical information and the very important and uh, appreciated uh, appreciated part from his speech was that he has tried to memorize the speech which is a very essential part which is always told by our dtm prasad sir that uh, you should memorize the speech by which you know you can be confidently giving the confidently delivering the speech on the sides of suggestions uh, uh, there are some a few uh, small suggestions which i have some grammatical uh, corrections are required and uh, some uh, 
confidence building measures like uh, rehearsing the speech more times will benefit uh, immensely to uh, immensely the kailash speech and his uh, confidence as regards uh, uh, war of current uh, he has gave, made made a good closing of his speech where he has said that war of current has not ended up and he has also given a very good very good encouraging or pacifying thought which is uh, uh, which he which he has applauded both the genius so it was a very well balanced speech and i really appreciate and i uh, commend his speech and furthering uh, he i expect very good speeches from him and once he i, I hope he uses a little voice modulation in his speech which will bring make it more interesting and will make it more enjoyable to the audience uh, that's all i would like to say thank you very much over to you toastmaster top three thank you toastmaster nandan for such a wonderful evaluation i won't disagree that film, films and movies these days are playing playing a big part in advertising tourism today sharukh khan the holder of gold the holder of golden visa is the brand official ambassador of dubai the burj khalifa always displaying his photos on his birthday specially as a gratitude of token mr bachchan mr amitabh bachchan is the brand ambassador of gujarat i'm sure you must have heard him kuch din to guzaro gujarat mein right the st- third speech by toastmaster teach will be evaluated by a consultant working with an internal audit firm who likes traveling adores food and loves playing sports his most memorable trip was when he went to algeria the biggest country in the african continent he thoroughly enjoyed the experience of his longest flight he devoured the gourmet french and the rustic barbaric cuisine and took pleasure in visiting the scenic places the nature had to offer during the stay let us welcome toastmaster kavalya स्पीच you began your speech with the definition of negotiation then you began giving some examples of negotiation for example you gave the example of how a customer and a salesman they negotiate with each other you also gave an example of your personal life when you negotiated with your mother at the same time you also gave an example from the food from the field of football and i must be honest that although being a fan of football that that is something which i did not actually know so that was great also while giving this example you asked a question which grabbed everyone's attention close to so i observed that there were two long pauses in your speech which could have been avoided by preparing better there was another thing that the speech lasted for less than 6 minutes so although you gave an example of negotiation what i would recommend you to do is you could have mentioned some of the advantages that negotiating successfully has in your career on your or in your personal life for example when you say that a customer and a salesman they negotiate with each other you could have mentioned that there are advantages for negotiation such as it saves money for example or <coughs> negotiation is also important in case of diplomacy also i feel that the speech was a little on the monotonous side i think you should be able to put in some more emotions by improving some voice modulations in your further speeches having said that i think you ended the speech well by giving the message that how 
negotiation is important in one's life. And you also mentioned that while preparing for this speech, you went through the relevant material and you understood the importance of negotiation by studying this. So I think the purpose of this speech has been successfully completed by you. And I congratulate you and all the best for your future postmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Kaivalya. One more benefit I would like to share is that traveling enhances our creativity and broaden one's horizon. I wonder, that's why artists like wandering and always put photos with hashtag wanderlust. The fourth speech by distinguished Toastmaster Prasad will be evaluated by someone who is a Toastmaster for last nine plus years an IT professional working with a Japanese IT company in Pune, interested in personal finance, public speaking, and physical fitness. His most memorable trips during childhood or his school days were visiting the towns and cities like Madurai. Nowadays, his memorable trips have become visiting his native village and speaking to people there. His dream destination is Kashmir. Although doable, he needs to manage his time for this trip. Let us all welcome distinguished Toastmaster Nagappan, sir. Am I visible and audible to the people online? Yes, sir. Honorable President and my target speaker, Toastmaster of the day, Fellow Toastmasters and guests, good evening to all of you. Today, my target speaker has given a speech on the topic of Globe Trucker. I know he is a wanderlist, wanderlist and he has traveled to multiple countries. So let me evaluate his speech on three areas. First one is about the, about the pathways objective. That speech objective was to practice developing and presenting a longer speech for 18 to 22 minutes. I could see that he has done that wonderfully well and he has completed the objective of that. Thank you for that. And next one is about the topic on which how we are going to do that. I want to give that talk delivery and speech logic as two different areas. Delivery wise, I could see that he has used all the technical aspects, for example, body language. Because currently we are in a hybrid world, so here we have a limited scope, but still I could see him that using his hand gesture, also his whatever, the eye movement, eye contact and having with all the people, I could see him that facial expressions, he was using it effectively. Second one, voice modulation. I could see that he was using voice modulation whenever he was explaining about his childhood journey or maybe introducing about home hospitality, I could see that he was using the voice modulation also very well. In delivery, one more aspect where he could have done better is about the timing. I know the speech is 18 to 22 minutes. He just little went about by 15 seconds that he could have controlled. Other than that, I think the delivery also, I could see that he has done that very well. The third aspect where I want to evaluate him is about the speech logic how he has used the logic. He used this as a session for giving not only a professional speech, also an educational session. We know that he can live out of a suitcase and he has done it multiple times. So he used that as an opportunity to explain about how he started doing that. Every day or every meeting, whenever we come across that he visited 56 countries or 100 countries like that, we used to wonder how he is doing it. He explained how he could do that at the very best of the budget and the timing. How he has done the planning, long-term planning, and also about how he developed the habit of the childhood. I could see that he also explained that well. So that way the speech logic, he developed it very well. And he also explained it in a very easily understandable way, where we also came to know about post-crossing, also for couchsurfing.com, all the details he shared and I am sure this will be helpful for all of us to also plan well and do such similar thing if we can manage our time. So that is the important part, if we can do that, we can do all these things well. 
Overall, this was an educational speech. We learned a lot and let us also follow whenever we get to do that. Thank you and over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Nagapan, sir. Out of the nine union territories of India, Lakshwadeep and Andaman and Nicobars are growing tourist destinations. By the way, the only way to reach Lakshwadeep is either through a flight from Kochi or through the cruise ship. And it is one of the growing destinations for adventure sports such as scuba diving and sea walk. With that, we will now have the timers report. Can you tell us who qualifies for best evaluators? Toastmaster Pranna? Qualify all the remaining three are qualified. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Tamanna. Now we will vote for the best evaluator. Prasad, sir, do we have the poll results? Uh, we'll get that later. Yes. Should should we end the poll? Yeah. Okay. Now coming to the adventure sports. Adventure sports are famous for giving one the adrenaline rush. Na to name few paragliding, parasailing, skydiving, bungee jumping, and cliff jumping. Out of that, I have only tried scuba diving, but I always want to try bungee jumping and skydiving, but I'm afraid for my life too. I'm not sure about you all, but I'm very afraid of the heights. Now it's time for language evaluator to come forward to give his or her comment. Let us welcome Toastmaster Sakshi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'll now present my report. So the Toastmaster of the day used in the ocean, extravagant, loaded, exhilarating, turnaround expert, broaden one's horizons, adventure sports. First speaker, TM Ankita used introverted, thrilling and exciting. Second speaker, TM Kailash used alternative current, turning point, winning the war. TM Tage used negotiation, strategic, persuasive, to be at peace, healthy compromise, chaos. DTM Prasad sir used uh, lifelong bonds, hit the road, amicable, barbecue, coined a phrase, good old days, home hospitality, gift economy. Um, for evaluators, TM Akash used anecdotes. TM Nanda sir used uh, benefit immensely. TM Kevalier used monotonous. Some uh, not so good usage of the English language were uh, getting into more detail. It should be getting into more details. Someone used repeatedly, it should be repeated. And a word of the day and idiom of the day were used by TM Nandan, TM Akash, TM Tamanna, and TM Uri. Uh, let us applause for everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster Sakshi. In India, Every 100 kilometers, the language and accent changes. The taste of food changes. And with, with such a rich ancestral knowledge of spices and cooking techniques, food from any two places can never taste the same. This is also one of the reasons many people want to travel and try different food and lifestyles. Homestays are in demand as tourists want to experience the authentic lifestyle of the places they visit. This shift and demand in homestays is helping a lot of local entrepreneurs in, in today's age. Now we will have the Our Counters report. Let's welcome Toastmaster Piyush. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Nidhi. 
honorable president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guests a very good evening to all we often find ourselves using crutch words or fillers like a ah, or you know or meaningless sounds like are when we are searching for the right words to say such crutch words distract from our speech and give the impression that we are not well prepared instead try just pausing a moment while you straighten out your thoughts this will help to reduce our reliance on those words and achieve clear eloquent speech i will now be presenting my report the first speaker for today was the sergeant at arms toastmaster jayshree she used two hours guest sharmista she used one hours president toastmaster prasad sir he used three hours guest shreya did not use any a but she used the word so frequently and that could have been avoided guest rakshak used 5 plus hours toastmaster of the day nidhi used 5 hours she also used the word and and the and its frequency can be reduced speaker 1 toastmaster ankita used 4 hours and there was one unusual pause speaker 2 toastmaster kailash used 5 plus hours and there were two repetitions speaker 3 toastmaster tej used one hours and two unusual pauses evaluator 1 akash used 5 plus hours and like was the word that was used quite often evaluator 2 uh, toastmaster nandan he used 5 plus hours and the word and was something that was used uh, more frequently than necessary evaluator 3 Taiwalya, he did not use any as, but there was one unusual pause. Language evaluator Sakshi, or Toastmaster Sakshi, used four as. Uh, yeah, so Toastmasters and yeah, uh, I while speaking have used three as, so I'll try and improve on that as well. Toastmasters uh, D T M Nagapan sir and guest Shreya uh, and, and guest Chandu, they were flawless with no as, um, unusual pauses or repeated words in the meeting. so let us have a round of applause for them with this i conclude my report and hand over the stage to the toastmaster of it thank you toastmaster of you youtube instagram facebook are platforms for emerging travel bloggers today they post their experiences stories and photos they reach vast population which in turn motivates a lot many to plan a trip now nowadays governments have become more creative they have started reaching out to such travel bloggers to advertise the states and cities tourism some of the travel bloggers i would like to share with you guys are kara and net this couple is a full time travel are full time travel travel couple and they earn through their travel blogging only Similarly, we have one Indian pair as well in competition, Ronnie and Barty. You can go to their YouTube and see an extravagant collection of videos from North East side. The other one is Fly with Sky. Whether you want to travel to North East Seven Sisters or Southern Coast of Kerala, road trip the Golden Quadrilateral. You have always want to be. You have always got to be that one. That one person. who just needs a little motivation a bit of planning and just some money actually to go on such trips someone was observing the proceedings of entire meeting he will now give the comment over to distinguished toastmaster tushar thank you toastmaster nidhi am i audible and visible yes yes okay thank you good evening mr president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guests i am tushar general evaluator for today let me evaluate each and every role player and what happened in today's meeting here is my report so coming to evaluators all the evaluators followed the recommended uh, feedback template which is crc comment recommend comment uh, only suggestion for toastmaster akash is like uh, you concluded way early uh, i will suggest like you try to connect with speaker and give us uh, even uh, you don't have uh, much to say but at least say like what you liked in the speech any anecdote any story joke any 
quote or what you like about uh, uh, the uh, speaker's persona. So anything you like, you can state that. So don't, don't uh, uh, like conclude uh, way early because we, we get uh, this time, very precious time we give uh, here and let's try to like utilize it, uh, it to the fullest. Toastmaster Nandan, a very good evaluation stated all the points he liked, all what stories he liked uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the speech and gave a specific recommendation. Same goes for Kaivalya stated objectives, very good start. Summarize the speech, what they spoke about and then gave the recommendation. Ditem Nagappan, a very good uh, style, like uh, he uh, stay, uh, he told us like what exactly he's going to do. He's going to tell us or evaluate the speech on three points. Then he went through objective delivery speech logic and then concluded with summary. Very good approach, Ditem Nagappan. Now coming to the role players who played a various role in today's meeting. Starting with first speaker of today's meeting, our Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Jayashri. Gracious welcome. I, I, I really like when uh, it's like our home, right? Uh, when guests come to our home, we graciously welcome them. This is our like tradition. And th that's what I felt when I attended today's uh, TMCP meeting. She graciously welcome everyone here. Then she stated club mission, uh, layout of hybrid uh, rules. Like uh, earlier, I remember when we used to meet physically or on the Zoom, we used to like uh, either state uh, the rules for physical meeting or state uh, rules for the Zoom meeting. But now we have the hybrid rules as well uh, when it comes to hybrid meeting. So good job on that. And she conducted a guest introduction of all four guests. So kudos on that, Toastmaster Jayashri. Now coming to next role player with a timer, uh, Toastmaster Tamanna, terrifically timed today's meeting and different sections. So if you see the time on agenda and uh, current time in your watch, you will see that agenda and current time are in sync and that's uh, that, that's what uh, the, the good timer ensures that everything is on time though he's not uh, or she's not uh, like uh, 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 having a stick and like running behind everyone but she ensures that agenda is uh, or the meeting is running as per the agenda and we are not overshooting or undershooting the time so good job on that Toastmaster Tamanna. Coming to our counter Toastmaster Piyush uh, I, what I liked about uh, his uh, report is like he stated the importance why our counter. So he established like he is important as well. So, so plenty of times we see like a, a we uh, like our counter like uh, they demeanor themselves or like uh, give under importance to themselves. So good job, Pish, on that. Like you, you you told us like you are very important. Uh, like you are playing very important role in this meeting, and then presented a crisp and concise report. So kudos on that. Coming to language evaluator Toastmaster Sakshi, who introduced word of the day, phrase of the day uh, at the start of the meeting. And he, she encouraged everyone to use it. Uh, she asked volunteers to use it. And then later presented a crisp and concise report. Only uh, suggestion for Sakshi is uh, become more interactive, like uh, sm have, have a smile and like uh, try to engage more. Okay. So I, I somewhere I, I thought like uh, uh, you were restricting yourself, but uh, uh, as many meeting as you can, you will become more uh, uh, expressive or you will start engaging more when playing the roles. Coming to Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster uh, Nidhi, uh, kudos, wonderful introduction on theme travel, uh, the presentation and efforts were translated, uh, literally translated into grand display of how confidence and uh, what public uh, speaking skills we can learn from Toastmasters. So it, it literally translated and it was a delightful demonstration of how to play the role of TMOD. So kudos on that. Uh, another thing I always uh, like about Toastmasters is uh, impeccable introductions. We need to introduce each and everyone uh, with like as expressive or as innovative as we can. So you did the good job on that. And then uh, your questions were too interactive. Like uh, I enjoyed them a lot. So kudos to Nidhi. Coming to precedence address, uh, uh, I always like pick up this couple of lines uh, from Prasad's uh, uh, like whenever he speaks, right? He uh, like uh, he gives the hints of uh, self promotion or uh, he uh, always gives the hints of uh, importance of everything. So he told us uh, like if you attend meeting like this, you will become smarter. So you have to attend meeting uh, like Toastmasters to become smarter, right? 
Then he spoke about importance of travel exchange of knowledge. Uh, his speech was informative, informative as well as entertaining. Now, what we can improve uh, for everyone, this is my suggestion, is like, uh, do not tell everyone how to do it. Just show it how to do it, uh, the way Nidhi did, the way all other role players did. Just show it how to uh, do it and everyone will understand. What I like about the uh, overall meeting is uh, we always start on time, end on time. All role players were prepared. Agenda was circulated within the time. Wonderful speeches which were diverse, re uh, rehearsed and well present. We can see many budding champions here at TMCP. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Tushar. Now there are some must know points for your travel. First one being safety, medical requirements, food consumption habits, cost and budget, cost and budget, plan and emergency, emergency planning. And you're good to go. Thank you all for traveling with us today. We look forward to have you on board soon. Now it's moment of glory for some of us. Let us invite our president to give away the certificates for the best speaker tonight and give his closing address. Over to Mr. President. Okay, uh, before that, I would like to launch polls. So just vote for the best auxiliary role player, Sergeant at Arms Jay Shri, Timer Tamanna, our counter Piyush and language alert is Sakshi. Please vote for. Okay, she's not qualified. So three of them only. Sergeant at Arms, please vote for the other three. Sergeant at Arms, Timer and our counter. Repeating the names again, Sergeant Adam Swatch, Jayashri Digrase, Timer was Tamanna, and our counter was Piyush. Shall I end poll here online? Many of you haven't yet voted. Now I'm launching the poll for best role player. We have Toastmaster of Dreniti and General evaluator Tushar. Okay, I guess that's it. I'm going to end polls now. Good evening, friends. Welcome once again. We are almost closing. We have a couple of announcements, and I would like to have some feedback from guests. So, may I request guest Rakshad Garud to give his feedback first? Am I muted there? Okay, I'll unmute myself. 
we can hear you prasad we can hear you we can hear you yeah
but for that particular contest the entry qualification is different so not everyone can participate in that if you are not able to participate in that and you want to be a contest chair for that you are welcome we can groom you so please volunteer let us know in your interest we will work on making you a proficient speaker that these are the announcements and now we have to give away the certificate for best speaker best evaluator and so on the best speaker for today goes to ankita dev I think there's four in a row. You are giving something every time to come to speak. Thank you. One, two, three, and one more. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The best value for today is to be able to win. Is there any other feedback, comment, anything that anyone like would like to add online or offline? Uh, Detail, Nagapan sir, would you be conducting orientation for the guests who are online? So for online, I will connect with them separately. Separately. Okay. Okay. So Neha, please connect to Detail Nagapan. He will guide you about the process of joining and tell you more about that. Plus, you can of course visit us next week and see that online as well. But by then, I guess you can be a member even before that. Okay. If there are no further questions, queries, comments, we will end the meeting. But please join us for a little bit of snacks and tea coffee, which we have arranged in the adjoining area. The meeting is.